Hey, Richard Schneider here with Antennas Direct, and it's the finish, day eight of the great race. And we have arrived here in lovely Tacoma, Washington. While we're waiting for the award ceremony to begin, we're gonna test some antennas. We've got a new 150 mile range antenna from Amazon, and I'm really excited to test that claim. So we're gonna try that out in downtown Tacoma, Washington, and only a few miles from the transmitting tires, and we're gonna see how it performs versus its claims. And of course, we're gonna compare it to a Clearstream 2 antenna. We're in the Tacoma Hotel, and we're on the 10th floor. So we've been uh, looking at getting some reception from some transmitters right over there, and I wanna tell you a little bit about our experience with the Ping, Bing Ding antenna we bought on Amazon. And this antenna is sold under um, about 20 different names. Uh, you can get it um, at Walmart. It's the house brand antenna at Walmart. It's sold under, you know, 15 or 20 different names on Amazon. And uh, you'll find it all over the internet. Um, and it's a relatively inexpensive antenna. And you can find it anywhere from 40 to uh, $99 online. Um, it is a, a Yagi antenna, uh, which was developed in 1922 by Hidastu Yagi, a Japanese electrical engineer, um, and it worked very good back in the day. But um, it is not exactly tuned for the American market. So uh, you may be saying, well, I saw 2,000 reviews on Amazon and they're all five star. But the experience we've had here has been less than stellar. It is extremely uh, narrow focus, has a very narrow beam width, meaning it's, it's maybe more like a laser than it is a shotgun. And um, the elements really just aren't tuned for the American frequencies. So before I get into the description, I just want to jump right to the conclusions. Um, we tested the antennas in identical locations just right here on the 10th floor of the Hotel Murano here in downtown Tacoma. And um, we set them up on uh, tripods um, and aimed them at the transmitting towers right here um, in Tacoma. And um, the results were as follows. We've got 51 channels reliably with the Clearstream 2. Um, we got a whopping nine channels with the Ping Ding Bing antenna, which is also sold as the ONN antenna and uh, about uh, 20 other brand names. You'll see these all over the internet. But we got about nine channels here uh, with this antenna. Um, and I just want to point out that not all antennas are equal. It's, these are not commodity products. There actually is science and engineering um, and some research involved in creating a reliable antenna. Um, as we show you the Antennas Direct Clearstream 2, I mean, this has been refined here in the, for the American market over the last 15 years. Um, this is about the sixth iteration. The elements are tuned specifically for the frequencies on which digital stations broadcast. Um, and it has um, a lot of original research involved to make it more consistent and more reliable than just some random commodity stuff that they, you know, brought over from China. So, end of the day, you're gonna get a, uh, around 50 channels with the Clearstream 2 in this market, to Tacoma, um, and your mileage may vary. You may get better results than nine channels. Uh, maybe you might look closer to the transmitting towers. Um, but another thing I'd like to point out is they are claiming 150 miles of range um, with this antenna. And that is just, uh, that's outstanding if it actually worked. Um, but that's not realistic. I mean, very few people are gonna get 150 miles of range out of any antenna. We don't even claim that. And, and we have actually a lot of research in, involved in developing antenna elements. So 150 miles of range on this, on this antenna is, is a little incredulous. Um, but um, we are here, we're probably, less than 20 miles from the transmitting towers um, and we got nine channels so here is richard schneider with the results of our antenna test here in tacoma washington